Why are so many people interested in investing in Perth? Julian here from Ripe House Advisory. Today we're going to go through kind of four key reasons why we're seeing a lot of interest in the Perth market over the last 12 months or so and still to this day, but also going to cover off a couple of topics in terms of why people aren't as keen on Perth. We've got some investors not so keen. So I guess firstly, the biggest one that we can see when we look at the Perth market is we've gone through you know, rising interest rates over the last 12 to 18 months and investors love to chase yields. When investors are chasing yields are trying to make sure they're covering their outgoing payments. And if we look at the track record here in that Perth market, we can see if we go back to 2010, we see a lot of the market around that kind of four to 5% mark. We went through a peak in that mining boom period where a lot of the miners were cashing in, getting that high income and that flowed into the rental market. Then we had that long pullback period. And again, now Perth is looking, it's, so as it's always historically been the strongest market in terms of rental yields. So that's attractive for investors. Investors want to try and cover a lot of their outgoing costs, particularly when they're concerned with their, their mortgage repayments. So the yields are being a really big draw card for people at the moment. The second one that's really kind of drawing people in, and it's a lot of the East Coast investors that are pouring into the Perth market at the moment is, Modern homes. People love to invest in homes that they want to see themselves living in. So, I mean, if we have a look at some of the acquisitions we've done in the Perth market over the, the previous few months, we've got property here in WA, we picked up for $548,000 for a client. You know, that's a circa 2010 build property, lots of depreciation on those properties. Investors are, are love to be drawn into tax deductions, though that's not always the best way to go about it. Sometimes it's an okay added benefit, but Tidy, sharp, low maintenance brick homes is another big draw card. The other one is metro areas. So people are typically drawn into metro areas. You know, you can go around the Perth area and, you know, based in, in Melbourne personally, being able to drive within 40 minutes from an area into the CBD is considered to be in an okay commutable distance. Even if you're at the very top end here of Perth in that kind of Butler region or down here at the south in that Rockingham, Port Kennedy region, you're gonna be having some pretty decent commute times. And then you've got the added benefit of the lifestyle factor. It's no secret that Perth people, they love getting down to the beach, some cracking beaches in the Perth environment. And that's a number one draw card for investors as well. Historically speaking, if we go over to your Melbourne or Sydney or your Brisbane markets, properties near the water have done pretty well. So again, that's another draw card for East Coast investors getting into the Perth market. But then on the flip side to that, there's also some investors who are completely scared and will never ever go into the Perth market. Either they've been burnt in the past or they just want to completely avoid it. And a large part of that reason is to do with the mining boom that happened over previous years. So we can kind of see back here, if we track the dwelling value prices in Perth, early 2000s, up to that kind of GFC time period, there was a huge, huge bit of a gold rush over in the Perth market. But then we basically went sideways for a very long time. In fact, property prices continually declined from 2014 through to 2020 and then we've had a big uplift. Investors have this inbuilt intuition where they want to get into a market and invest before a market's popped off. So if they're looking into a market, and let's use, use Brisbane, which is still a great area to invest in at the moment, but a lot of investors have seen, well, Brisbane's doubled in value over the last half a dozen years or so. So they may not be put, they'll be put off by investing into the Brisbane market because of that. They then look at the Perth, Markets see that it went backwards for six years and they're scared that's going to happen to them again. So it can be really a bit of a catch-22. The other point is a lot of people here in Australia don't see Perth as an international market. They still see it as a, as a mining town, so they won't ever park their money into it. And then there's a large portion of the, seg uh, I guess, the segment that only want to invest in Melbourne and Sydney. So again, though we're seeing Perth as a very, very hot market right now, there is probably yeah, 10 or 20% rusted on people that just will never ever invest in the Perth market. So that's my take on Perth. We're definitely seeing that market is number one hottest market in the country right now. Um, there's real shortage of listings over there. And, uh, and yeah, if you do have any questions, whether it be about Perth or property investing in general, my name's Julian, I'm the head of strategy here at Ripe House. 
please be sure to follow me on LinkedIn. I'll be posting a lot more data-driven content on there as well. And we also have something very, very big in the pipeline over the next couple of months. So looking forward to putting out more content. Speak on the next one.